Greetings, friend. I will show you what surprising Sudoku strategy conquers this competitive Sudoku. In particular, how to solve the green cell. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go. And with that, it's solving time. First thing you want to do is notice these ones here in rows two and three limits the ones two spots up in block three. What we want to do is mark that with Snyder notation. Anytime in a three by three block, you have two possibilities for a candidate. You can mark it in case you solve one of those cells and solve the other one right away. Also gives us some tips on more advanced solving. With these two ones in columns one and two, limits the ones to these two spots here. Now let's move on to the twos. This two cuts all the way across row one. So there's only two possibilities for a two here. So we're putting Snyder notation marks there, but it has another benefit. Since these twos are in the same column and in the block, they're a pointing pair. What that means is since a two has to be one of these spots, the two cannot be anywhere else now along column one. And that's huge for us because now twos can't be in these two spots. Can't be here because of this two, but with this two cutting across, it now limits the twos at these two spots in block four. And this creates another pointing pair. So now the twos can't be anywhere else along row five. They couldn't be here already because of this two, couldn't be here because of this two, but now they can't be in either one of those two spots either. And so you have these twos, you have this two, this pointing pair. Now there's only one possibility for two in block six. So we used a pointing pair, a couple of pointing pairs to get to that spot. And we're not done yet because now this two comes up here in column six. This two still cuts across and we have two possibilities for two in block two. And there are another pointing pair to go with this two. With this two cutting across, we have two possibilities for two right there. So far, we're looking really nice here. Not close to where we're going to solve that green cell, but we're going to get there. We want to keep looking for these types of pointing pairs. And we'll find another one here with the threes. At this three cutting across row nine, so only two possibilities for a three in block nine. And now they point up, and there's no other places to put a three uh, in this column. With this three cutting across, we now have two possibilities for a three in block six. And now it limits the threes to these two spots in block five. And this is very interesting. Notice where this three cuts across row nine. The threes are in these four spots right there. And I'll mark that in orange. And you notice that the threes are in these two spots here in block five. So the threes are limited to column four and column five in blocks five and eight. The threes cannot be in column six anywhere. But where do the three has to be in block two? Well, it has to be in one of these two spots because you have a three here and we know a three's gotta be in one of these spots in these columns. A three can't be in any of these spots in column six. So they gotta be in block two. And so this is called a claiming pair and it eliminates the ability for two threes to be in these spots right there. All right, we'll get rid of that marking. And so I wanted to show you how a claiming pair works. We move on to the fours. And you'll find interesting, you got these two and four right here working together. Then you have this two and four working together in this column. So where can a two and a four be along row three? Well, it can't be in these three spots, it can't be in this spot. There's only two possibilities left for the two and the four. Whenever you have only two possibilities for two candidates, even though there might be other possibilities there, this two cells are now limited to these two candidates. This is called a hidden pair. And so the two and four are hidden among other possible candidates. And what we know is since the two and the four have to be somewhere in row three, they're gonna fill up these two spots. Nothing else can be in those two spots. And we'll use that to our advantage to do a little bit more solving here in just a minute. Okay, after that hidden pair, now let's look at the fives. All right, you got this five cutting across. This cell can no longer be a five. You have this five cutting off row one. So there's two possibilities for five, and now they're a pointing pair as well. We go with this five. So the fives are now limited to one of these three spots. I don't mark those if there's three because with Snyder, uh, you'll get in the habit of eliminating one of these candidates and then you want to solve right away. Well, there's three possibilities. You do that and you might mistakenly mark something that's not available. 
I will tell you there are some more advanced strategies available to you at the fours and the fives. If you find one of those more advanced strategies, put it in the comments. I'd be curious to see what you found at this point in the puzzle. Let's look at the sixes now. With these two sixes in column seven and eight, you can only put a six in one spot in block three. It has to be right there. It's also the same row as where we had that hidden pair. So now we're going to restrict what can be in the rest of this row, right? Because it can't have a one, two or four, a six, seven, nine. We need a three, five, or an eight. Well, I have a five and an eight right here. This now has to be your three. And we can remove that Snyder mark. And then with this eight right here, we know this is going to be an eight and that's going to be a five. We just knocked out all of that solving. And now we can notice that with this one and three right here, the one and three are limited to these two spots in block three, which makes them another hidden pair. And whenever you have left two candidates for two spots, that's going to be a seven nine naked pair. Learn more about naked and hidden pairs by downloading my free Sudoku solving guide in the pinned comment below. Now we can focus a little bit more here and actually do another solve. But you might notice here in block two, look in this cell right here. What can it be? Well, it can't be a one, it can't be a two, a three, it can't be a four, a five, it can't be a seven because of this na naked pair, it can't be an eight, and it can't be a nine because of a naked pair. This can only be a six. So that's a naked single six, and we can solve that. And we can solve a little bit more going down column six. And now we have at least five cans filled out. That's when I'll start looking to see what else we can do to solve that. We need a one, three, five, and nine. Actually, a one, five, seven, nine. I got a three right there. Well, I have this five, the seven, nine right here, and the five means this has to be a one naked single. And since the seven, nine are still in the block, this is going to have to be your five. And that's going to give us a seven, nine naked pair. And I'll fill that out. Looking good with the naked pair. And now with the sevens, since this seven comes up, this these sevens that are a naked pair act as a pointing pair. There's only two possibilities for seven in block two. And we look at the eights. There's not much we can do with the eights. You got eights in row seven and eight. There's only two possibilities for the eight right there. So we'll mark that. And we move on to the nines. This nine comes up, column five. So at least two possibilities for a nine. So I'll mark that up there in block two. And then if you look across here, look across row four, we might be able to solve another nine. All right, we have at least five cans. I don't do this unless I have at least five, right? You got a one, two, three, five, seven. So you need a four, six, eight, and nine. Well, I have a four, six, and an eight looking at this cell. This has to be a nine. And since the four six are still in the block, you can solve this cell for an eight now. And so then we can put a four six right there. All right, looking good. We can actually also put a two and an eight up here because of the seven nine, we know there's only two possibilities left. So that's another naked pair. And we're putting a lot of buy value cells. We'll get back to solving those. They're not the key strategy or surprising strategy that I was hinting at. We're really close to that right now. With this nine right here, we can actually do some solving. We can solve this cell now for a seven and solve that cell for a nine. And then if you see how this five cuts all the way across row five, there's only one place for a five in block six. So we can solve that cell too. And with these two fives, there's only one place for a five now in block nine. So we can solve that five. All right, after doing that, what we know is there's a one, three, seven naked triple here in block six, right? Because we have the two, four, five, six, eight. Since a one has to be in one of these spots, it can't be anywhere else along the row. So this can no longer be a one. It's a pointing triple, crazy, pointing triple. But that means a one can't be in row five in block four, it has to be right here. So we can solve that one right there. And then, what we can do here in row six is since we have five cans filled out, we need a three, seven, eight, nine. You might notice that the seven can't be in these spots and it can't be here because of this seven. So we can solve this cell for a seven. And because the nine covers these two spots, we can solve this cell for a nine, which leaves us a three, eight naked pair. Okay, and since the three and eight are in those two spots, 
this can only be a four or six to go with this four six naked pair and so far we have covered lots of pairs and we're getting to the trickiest part we're going to get to the part that solves the green cell what's surprising about it is that we use a bunch of pairing strategies pointing pairs claiming pairs naked pairs hidden pairs but what you need is a little bit more for this next step. Check out block nine. You have a two, four, five, six, eight in the block. You also have a three right here in this row. But these two cells could only be one of three possible candidates, right? Because we have six different digits looking at these two cells. It can only be a one, seven, or a nine. And it can't be a nine because of this nine right there. Well, if you notice, these three cells right here can only contain the digits 1, 7, and 9. And since these three cells can only be 1, 7, or 9, 1, 7, and 9 cannot be anywhere else along row 9. This is a naked triple. You have to find this. You're not going to be able to solve much else without finding this naked triple at this point. And this is awesome. I thought it was quite surprising. And we can use it now to look at this cell. So what can this cell be? It could be a 1, 6, or a 7. Couldn't be a 3, 4, 5, 8, or a 9. But since the 1, 7, 9 are in those purple cells, we know that a 1, 7, 9 have to be in these three cells. It cannot be in here anymore. So this cannot be a 1 or a 7. We can solve our green cell now for a 6. Hopefully you're a little surprised and then a naked triple is what we needed to solve that cell. If you found some value when I just showed you, consider buying me a coffee. I really appreciate it. All right, after doing this six, now we can clear some of this clutter from our puzzle, all right? We can now solve this for a four because of the six right there, which makes this a six. This four lets us solve this two, four here. We're gonna disambiguate this two it's going to disambiguate this 8, 2 right there. We did all that solving. This 4 is going to help us solve this 6 right here. Okay, after doing all those great solves, what we can look at is you have a 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 8 in this block. So we need a 4, 7, 9. I'm going to show you my neat naked triple trick. You have a 4, 9 right there. And then you have the 4 repeated right there. That means we can solve all three cells. Because you know that the 4 has to go here this would have to be the seven because of the four nine and then this is going to be your nine i love that all right that means that's got to be a seven this is going to be a one and that's going to be your nine right there and then we can come up here you see this eight means we can solve for three right here and solve for an eight right there and now let's look over here in column one okay we got a one two three four six seven we need a five eight and a nine okay you got the five and nine right here it means this has to be your eight and you got the nine repeated so another neat naked triple trick that's got to be your five and this is going to be your nine and with these two nines and this nine we can solve for nine here this place in that snyder two and we're not done we still got more solving to do here in this puzzle okay what else can we look at let's look at what this one does it gives us a three here and a one right there and so this is a one three seven i got the one seven here this has to be the three and with the one here you got the seven here and the one there now let's come over here to column four we have eight digits filled out we got a full house there's only one digit missing right we're looking for a three which is going to displace this snyder three we can solve for the three here solve for the seven right there and with these two sevens and this seven we can solve for a seven in block four. And now what we're missing here is a one and five. I got my one right there in row eight. So there's your one and there's your five. Another full house. We can, would certainly solve that for a two. This place in that Snyder two allows us to solve for a two here and a four there. Okay, and then with these two fours and this four, we can solve for a four right here. This place in that Snyder eight. Okay, I don't see an 8 up here in block 1, so this has got to be your 8, and that's got to be a 6. I don't see a 6 in block 7, so this is going to be your 6, and we can finish our last digit as a 5. Watch this next video if you want more World Championship Sudoku tips. 
I want to thank all the Buy Me A Coffee supporters who are investing in the future of smart hobbies. And I want to thank you so much for watching.